Throughout Siege's lifespan, there have been many operators that have been considered overpowered, and after a few seasons, Ubisoft will nerf them and they'll quickly fall off. But the operator I'll be talking about in this video was released broken, significantly nerfed multiple times, and still remain one of the most played operators in the game. So let's dive into the story of the operator the devs couldn't nerf. December 1st of 2015, Rainbow Six Siege was released with 20 unique operators, each having their own ability. You have operators like Thermite, Thatcher, Ash, Smoke, Bandit, and the operator this video is about, Jaeger. These are some of the operators that early on the community thought stood out as some of the strongest operators in the game. Now to dive further into Jaeger on release and how the community thought of him, let's start with his gadget. Jaeger's gadget is called an ADS, Active Defense System. Jaeger's ADS can be placed on many services and once placed, they're armed to destroy projectiles. On release, Jaeger's ADSs were used to counter things like nades, stuns, ash charges, and fused cluster grenades, which isn't a whole lot of things to counter, and there were much less utility to protect with his ADS, so his ability wasn't seen as very strong. His ADSs would activate two times and they would be disabled, but they could be stacked to deny six projectiles. But something that was seen as very strong was his primary assault rifle, the 416 Carbine. With high damage, medium fire rate, low recoil, and most importantly, the ACOG sight, he was the best fragging operator, especially since his ability was so easy to use as you could just set it and forget it to go frag out with his AR. But even with his primary AR, on release, Jaeger was not seen as overpowered necessarily, but still was seen as one of the strongest operators in the game. Around this time, ACOGs were a highly debated topic in the Siege community due to them being seen as too strong compared to hollow sites, and pair that with some of players' hatreds towards spawn peaking, on September 5th of 2017, Jaeger's first balancing changes would come with the release of Operation Blood Orchid. Siege wanted to reduce the effect effectiveness of high speed roamers with good guns running around killing people, so in this update they removed the ACOG sight from 2 and 3 speed operators. This really started the debate around magnification sight's strength on the defensive side of Rainbow Six Siege, and this problem still goes on to this day. Now Jaeger would stay this way, but slowly get better as more projectiles were added to the game that he could counter, but with the release of Operation Ember Rise on September 11th of 2019, the second major change to Jaeger's ability was added. With the release of this new season, Ubisoft would rework deployable shields so instead of them being solid, making them difficult to use and effectively peek from, they would now have little bulletproof window slits that you can see through and use to better hold certain areas of the map. This shield rework pretty much changed Siege overnight as shields went from one of the worst secondary gadgets in the game to one of, if not the best, pretty much instantly. And entire defensive strategies were centered around holding certain areas with shields and then protecting those shields from destruction. And at the time, Jaeger was by far the most effective at doing so. And once you pair this with a newly released operator, Goyo, who had three very similar shields, but his shields actually had gas canisters on them, so once destroyed, would release fire where the shield once was, stopping the attackers from entering that area. These changes to deployable shields and the release of Goyo would start a very controversial era of Siege dubbed the Utility Meta. This new era of Siege revolving around Jaeger and his ADSs turned Siege into a super slow burn ADSs, destroy shield, wait for fire, then rush in last second game style. And this was really only the start as many changes and operator releases would only further strengthen this new meta. And starting with the new season, Operation Shifting Tides, a new operator named Momai was released. Momai's gadget is very similar to Jaeger, as his magnets catch any projectile and he was basically a less powerful Jaeger. Now the reason I think Ubisoft released Womai was to compete with Jaeger, as he was by far the most played operator in the game, as he was the only operator to fill his role. But it was really at a bad time, as this new slow paced meta made it so Womai only caused more harm, as instead of having to burn about 6 projectiles from Jaeger, it will be increased to 10 with Wamai if you really want it, basically making certain areas of the map unpushable with 5 shields and protection for each one. This was abused significantly with the lineup consisting of Goyo, Jaeger, Wamai, and Maestro making it super difficult to attack. With all the backlash, especially from pro players, Ubisoft was ready to start nerfing the utility meta, and to do so, they started with Jaeger. With the mid-season patch of Shifting Tides, Ubisoft reduced the damage of Jaeger's 416 to 38 from 43, which might not seem like a lot, but this would significantly reduce the TTK for the gun, making it one of the worst on defense. And on top of that, the following patch released with Operation Void Edge, Jaeger would be changed to a 2-speed. But these changes didn't really matter that much, as yes, a few years ago when Jaeger was the run-and-gun roamer with the ACOG, maybe nerfing his primary AR and his speed would slow him down, but in this utility meta, his gadget was the real problem and the other factors were minor positives. But with the release of Operation Neon Dawn, Jaeger would get a rework in his main gadget. Instead of his ADSs having 2 charges, they would now infinitely regenerate 
memory, but the recharge would take 10 seconds. Now you might be thinking this is kind of a buff because you can potentially stop more projectiles, but all attacker has to do now is throw one projectile to burn the ADS, then use the important projectile while the ADS is regenerating. And if you stacked all three of your ADSs before the nerf, it would take six projectiles to burn them versus after the nerf, it would only take three. You would think his pick rates would plummet, but that would not be the case as he was still the most picked operator in the game. So now you're seeing why I'm saying the devs couldn't nerf Jaeger. Even after his ACOG removal way back when, his speed reduction, his AR damage reduction, and even his gadget nerf, he took all of them on the chin. So Ubisoft decided Jaeger needed another nerf. Operation Crimson Heist was released on March 16th, 2021. And with this season, Jaeger would receive another nerf to his primary AR. His 416 would lose five bullets going from 31 to 26. His AR's vertical recoil would also be increased. This made Jaeger's gun one of the worst on defense, and on top of that, his gadget was a shell of its former self. And even after all this, Jaeger would still be one of the most picked operators in the game, especially in pro play. It basically seemed like Jaeger couldn't be nerfed. Now he would slowly go down in pick rates compared to his former self, but that's only to be expected due to how many nerfs he's received. And from here, he would receive slight buffs in his recoil and the 416 receiving the extended barrel, but it wasn't really anything major. And that really leads us to today. Jaeger is definitely not one of the most picked ops in the game, and he's actually kind of underpicked, but for how long his run lasted as by far the most played operator in the game, and then eventually one of the higher picks ops in the game, his dominance was rivaled by none. But like I said, he has pretty low win rates and pick rates right now, and there's some rumors of buffs coming to Jaeger. So for the next part of this video, I'll be talking about how I think Jaeger should be changed. And so first, let's start with what doesn't need to change from Jaeger. And starting with his secondary gadgets, I think they're fine as you have the bulletproof cam, which pairs well with his overall kit and observation blockers if you want to use them for whatever reason. I don't see anything wrong with his secondary gadgets. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the changes I think need to be made to Jaeger. Firstly, his primary weapon is pretty underpowered. Something a lot of people liked about old Jaeger was how strong his AR was. Now it's just not even able to compete with a lot of weapons. Ubisoft felt they could nerf Jaeger by nerfing his gun, but it was really his overpowered ability which made him highly picked. Now that they've nerfed everything to do with Jaeger, his gun should be built back up. Firstly, I would bring his magazine count back up to 30 plus one and decrease the recoil a little bit to make his gun a little bit better. Nothing too crazy. This would make him slightly better and just more comfortable and easy to use. Then I would add a secondary shotgun to his loadout. This would increase Jaeger's overall value and allow him to be much more versatile in his setups. This would also be a refreshing and engaging change as we've never seen Jaeger with a different secondary than his current pistol. Overall, in my opinion, the changes I mentioned would make Jaeger much more refreshing to play and more fun as we've never seen Jaeger in this way. But I'll go over some alternative changes I've seen to give you more options to think about. Starting with giving Jaeger impacts and reverting him to a three speed. This would definitely make Jaeger more of a roamer once again and kind of similar to Legion a few seasons ago with his impacts. But I don't think Jaeger in his current state would pair well with these changes as the last time we seen Jaeger in his roaming state, he had a much better gun, a cog, and a much better ability. So it allowed him to shine in this role, but right now it would kind of just feel weird in my opinion. But a lot of people want Jaeger to go back to his old roaming form and for Wamai to be more of a support role. Let me know what you think about this. Personally, I think it would be kind of hard with Jaeger in his current state to make him a roamer, especially since his ability doesn't really help when deep roaming compared to operators like Vigil, Legion, and Malusi. A lot of people also mentioned giving him barbed wire, especially since barbed wire has been buffed, so that definitely will help him out. But in my opinion, Jaeger isn't nearly strong enough overall for such a little change. But let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. And if you want to see more of my content, then click the video popping up on your screen.